Find the numbers at which the function f of x, which is equal to x plus 2 if x is less than 0, f of x is equal to e to the x if x is in between 0 and 1, inclusive, and f of x is equal to 2 minus x if x is greater than 1, is discontinuous. At which of these points is f continuous from the right, from the left, or neither, and then sketch the graph of f. So let's take a look at this in pieces. So we have the first one, we have the second one, and then we have the third one. Okay, so if we take a look at the first one, we know that the function f is continuous. And that's because it is a polynomial, which is x plus 2. on the interval from negative infinity to zero. Okay, if we look at two, f is continuous It is exponential because e to the x is an exponential function. And it is continuous on the interval between 0 and 1. And then number 3, we also know that f is continuous. It is a polynomial, 2 minus x, and that's on the interval from 1 to infinity. So now let's find the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of the function. So when we look at that limit as x approaches 0 from the left, we're looking at the function of x plus 2. So if we evaluate that limit at 0, then the result is going to be 2. Now if we want to take, a, the, take the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, of f of x. Well, that's equal to the limit as 0, x is approaching 0 from the right. That is e to the x. And if we evaluate that limit, it becomes e to the 0, which is equal to 1. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that the limit as x approaches 0 of the function does not exist. So that means that f is discontinuous at 0. Now we can also take a look at what happens here. So if we know that f of 0 from that part is equal to 1, that means that f is continuous from the right at 0. Okay, so we can see here that we go from negative infinity to 0, and then from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to infinity. Now we need to figure out what happens at the limit at 1. So, just as we did in part 4, we want to find the limit as x is approaching 1 from the left of the function. And 1 from the left is going to e to the x. So we want to find the limit as x approaches 1 from the left, e to the x, which becomes e to the 1, which is equal to e. 
And then we want to find the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of this function. So the limit as x approaches 1 from the right here is the function 2 minus x. which is equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. So just as we've done here, we can see now that the limit as x approaches 1 of the function, since these aren't equal to each other, does not exist. So we say that f is also discontinuous. at 1. However, we also notice here that f of 1 is equal to e, so f is continuous from the left at 1. So now the last part is they want us to sketch the graph. So let's sketch the graph on Desmos. Okay, so we're going to put in our function. So we have x plus 2 provided that x is less than 0. And then we have e to the x provided that 0 is in between x and 1, including both of those values. And then we have 2 minus x, where x is greater than 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and label this graph. Okay, so our first graph we can see here is f of x, which is equal to x plus 2, where x is less than 0. So we have an open circle at the value of 0, 2. Then here, this is the function e to the x, where x is in between 0 and 1 inclusive. So that means we have a point here and a point here. This point represents 0, 1, and this point represents 1, e. And then the last function, f of x, which is equal to 2 minus x, where x is greater than 1, we have an open circle here at 1, 1.